Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So today I'm going to do a run here with my uh, Super Tiger S90K engine. Now I've done about six heat cycles on this engine now and I'm ready to kind of start leaning it out. And as you can see from my bench here, I've redone my bench a little bit. I put a new top on it and I reinstalled the static thrust um, mechanism. I'm also going to be getting another engine test stand to put at the far end here and I'll show you a couple of pictures of this setup. I've got the uh, my thermometer uh, attached to my stand now also so I've always got that here with me. But I've got the same 14.6 APC prop on here, the same Super Tiger plug um, that I've run before that came with this engine and some Omega 5% fuel. So let's try this new setup out and try and get some static thrust readings with this particular prop also. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. Um, first time I've used this stand in probably eight, nine months, maybe a year. I don't know when I took it off. Uh, so there's definitely some another little bit of learning curve getting used to uh, how far it goes out and that kind of thing, taking the safety mechanisms off. At low speed, that's one of the reasons I got rid of it to begin with is it vibrates a lot or it looks like it's causing a lot of vibration. I still got to try and find some other means to secure it a little bit better, but that's one of the reasons I kind of got rid of it to begin with. But like I said, I will be getting another stand, not a PSP stand, but another stand that I'll put on the other end of this uh, bench uh, where I can just do 
you know, engine runs without static thrust, and I don't have to worry about that so much. But anyway, this engine ran quite well. It's quite warm. And uh, I didn't touch the needle because I pretty much had it all tweaked out from the last time I did a, a run. Um, so anyway, there's your run. This Super Tiger 90 runs really strong. I think I saw almost 12 pounds of static thrust. So, nice engine. Thank you for watching.